Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Tesla and the Gong. And in this video, we're going to feature this fella. And as you can see, I am here at the Berry Supercharger. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous place. I have a separate video on the Berry Supercharger. And I have an update coming very soon. Now, this video is to show you how much space I have on my Model X. So mine is a seven-seater model, as you can see. So we have the, um, the second row of seats at the back. And I have one more row which seats two people. And one of my friends asked me if there is enough space in the third row for a baby seat. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now this is the third row seats now. First of all, you have to access the third row seats. Hey, so how do we do that? We just press this button. That pushes forward the, the seat a little bit. And then you have to pull and drag the seat front. So that is the space we have here. It's quite spacious as you can see to get into the third row of seats. It's not too difficult whatsoever. Now to get the car seat in place. So, so let me. Oh, getting the car seat in is not difficult whatsoever. Even with a one handed operation that I'm doing. There you go. So that's where the car seat sits in the third row. And then I'm going to push this back before we get anything going so this is the optimum um, second row seats and you can see that that is the space that you have here there's more than enough space for the baby and you can see that there now I'm going to show you how to secure the third row seats so once again you go back and release that press that and pull that forward and then pull it forward too so you don't have to push it all the way in front so you can actually collapse it like so as well so that it gives you more access to put the baby in even without completely moving this row seat in front so that is a good thing about uh, these seats so you don't have to push them all the way in front so you can they can stay as such but just move them around like so okay now to secure the seats might be very difficult to do this one-handed so I'm gonna try all right guys so I've just repositioned my camera here so you can see what's happening here so the best way to do this is to step into the car and because there's there's so much space here you can actually get inside the car to do this and first things first obviously you need to feed the, um, the uh, seat belt through so that's the first step that I usually recommend and the best way to do this is to pull the seat belt as much as possible and then you can pull that like, like a seat that across so and then pull it out a little bit like that so that's come out on the other side there so once, we, once it comes out you just have to go in and snap it in place there so that's done so that is snapped in place and now for the for the uh, cable, it needs to go behind, like so. And that can go behind there. And so this, this is nice and sturdy. So you can see that this cable has, has come to the back, and then you can just you just have to. There's a top tether here. You can you can see that there's a small little hole that goes in, and inside the hole you can really can't see, but you can feel that there's a small little place where you can snap this in place. So all you have to do is pull that, push that through and snap that into place. So that's all done. Once that's done, you can then readjust this. That's that's the It's all secure now. Now we can get we can get baby teeny inside there. So there she goes. She's quite happy too. And now you can all you have to do is just push back push this back a little bit and then you can use this knob to press push back and that slides into place that's all done and now let's see how much space there is so you can see even after we've secured the car seat there is a reasonable amount of space in front and all the way to the top as well now that's all folks, thank you very much for watching, if you like what I'm doing, please do subscribe to my channel, 
my channel's name is Tesla and the Gong on YouTube, please do subscribe to my blog as well, teslaandthegong.com. And if you are in the lookout for a Tesla Model X, Model S or a Model 3, please do consider using my referral code. The details of my referral code is in the description of this video. You can also scan the QR code and get my referral code right away. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.